Hello children today we shall know what kind of soil we may find around us for example in the gardens let us revise what we learnt in the last video about the soil in general the soil consists of small pebbles or gravels it also consists of sand clay and other particles the air and water are also present in the soil the dead leaves decayed organic substances found in the soil form the fertile humus part of the soil after knowing so much about the soil it would be easy to understand why there are different types of soils collect soil from different places and observe them carefully you would find that the proportion of particles of various sizes like sand clay gravel or the humus in soil is not same always because of this difference all the soil don't have same ability of holding air and water thus different types of soil exist sometimes soil contains greater proportion of larger particles like sand gravel etc these large particles cannot fit closely together so there are large spaces between them these spaces are filled with air the water can drain quickly through the spaces between the particle so this kind of soil can't hold the water hence it is dry we can call it sandy soil as it can't hold water it is not fertile people live near the sea in coastal area must have seen this kind of soil people can grow cashew nuts orchids coconut tree in this soil if clay particles are higher in proportion than the other particles in the soil that soil can store lots of water as gaps between the tiny clay particles is very small where water can be trapped so the clay soil is very fertile this soil feel little sticky and heavy as it stores water but there is very little space for air in the tiny gaps between the soil particles in this kind of soil if clay soil is treated with some organic fertilizer paddy banana sunflower wheat sugarcane can grow very well in this kind of soil you know as clay particles pack tightly together this soil is ideal for making pots matkas etc but when the amount of small and large particles in the soil is almost same that soil is perfect for plants it is loamy soil it contains a type of small particle called silt the size of silt particle is between those of sand and clay so this soil can hold water in the tiny gaps between silt and clay it also contains enough air as it has some bigger gaps between the larger particles so this soil is perfect for plants as it has capacity to hold water as well as air the loamy soil is good for growing cotton pulses like lentils or masoor pea etc we now know that fertility of soil depends on the proportion of large particles and the small particles in the soil based on this proportion the soil can be divided into three types clay soil which has higher proportion of clay the sandy soil which has higher proportion of sand and the third is the fertile loamy soil in this soil the amount of large particle and small particle is almost the same if you live near a river bank you must have noticed a soil which is a kind of mixture of sand and clay that is a special kind of loamy soil as it contains silt in high quantity the silty soil feels smooth silky 
soft soapy when rubbed between the fingers this soil can hold water in the tiny gaps between the silt particles this soil is very fertile the soils with a lot of silt make an excellent farmland but can erode easily people can grow paddy sugarcane turmeric vegetable in the silt soil you know silt is actually carried and deposited by the river when it floods its banks that is why silt soil can be found near river areas like in india near east godavari west godavari guntur etc but we see red black brown colored soil why is it so why are these soils with different colors well sandy clay and loamy soil are basic soil types the soil may have certain color due to the presence of certain substances generally dark colored soils like black have higher humus than the light colored soils you might have seen the red soil in your locality the red soil contains high amount of iron mineral but it is less fertile because it is less sandy and has less humus if you live in telangana region or in anandpur in andhra pradesh in india you must have seen this soil this soil is not so fertile but jowar maize groundnut fruit trees like mango pineapple etc can grow very well in this soil we can even see dark black soil isn't it you know it is formed from lava yes the hot lava from volcano is cooled down and then form this soil this soil can store water and it is very fertile if you live in place uh, like in india in khammam karnool kadapa guntur region in andhra pradesh you will have black soil in your garden with black soil you can make a nice fruit and vegetable garden because many sour fruits like pineapple lemon etc or vegetables like chili etc can grow in it cotton grows well in the black soil too now if right plants are not growing in soil like you plant a mango tree in the red soil and it doesn't grow well it means the soil lacks some nutrients which the tree requires for its growing you need to use manure you can use organic manure just like farmers use manure to prepare soil for growing crops just use cow dung or rotten vegetable skin and leaves to make the soil rich in nutrients so that is all for today bye bye children